Here's an AMI This Week shortcut with Beth Deer. Come on in, guys. Yes, good boy. Aspen Service Dogs is one of the few Alberta government qualified service dog organizations in the province and they provide personally trained and certified canine partners for many different people in need, like Sasha Harrington and her son Owen. Sasha, can you tell me a little bit about how Aspen Service Dogs um, helped you guys? So we were having trouble sometimes where when we'd be in public places um, or even in our own home where Owen would bolt or uh, run away um, and that that became, it became a huge safety thing. Mm -hmm. If he's able to focus on something, he does so much better when we're outside of our kind of comfort zone of our own home. So if he has something that is his job or his task to do through that, it does make it easier. So that is where we kind of felt like adding this as a tool for him would make him more successful. Service dogs are intended to improve safety, inclusion and independence for people with a wide variety of needs. Co-owner and trainer of Aspen Service Dogs, Maria Eilis, joins me to talk about their important service. Maria, thank you so much for joining me. I'm really excited to talk about dogs. That is my favourite subject. So first off, how long have you been a certified trainer? Oh my God, I, even, I don't want to say this number because it's quite high. <laughs> Guide dog and service dog instructor over 25 years. And instructors are people, they actually um, been trained how to work with dog and people uh, with, uh, with disabilities. I have a feeling I do know the answer to this question, but which dogs make the best service dogs? Well, it's a very, very easy and simple answer. Labrador Retrievers are the best for being service dog in any program. Uh, guides, uh, service, autism, uh, PDST, they are really amazing. Gilmore, push down. It can take over two years of intense training and development for these amazing dogs to become highly skilled partners, but they'll also be a much needed best friend. Maria, can you tell me what it was like uniting a chocolate lab named Ashton with Owen and his family? The family was very anxious because they mm. told me, we really don't want to fail. We tried so much to help and improve Owen's life. They were in the beginning really like, is this going to work? Is this going to work? The trainer, Maria, she ended up coming to Red Deer and spent a week with us uh, and Owen and Kai kind of tried to figure out how uh, the new dog fit in with our life and she showed us a lot of how to work with the dog and um, how just to position with the dog and what the dog uh, could do and sort of the dog came trained but we weren't yet. Owen, should we run? Come on, let's run. Come on, Austin. Oh. I'm sort of trying to think of it as like a marriage. So they're sort of in that getting to know each other phase still. And it's going really well. He really enjoys taking him outside of the house. I'd say that's been the best part. He's got Ashton and he holds on to him and that's his job. Yeah, he's a really nice dog. Ready, set, go, come. <laughs> This is my best reward ever, to pass this dog on to somebody who really, really needs him and changing somebody's life. It's, it's just one of the most amazing feelings. To hear people afterwards when they say, you know, you changed my life. <laughs> okay? Yeah, he's okay. Come give him a hug. a new relationship so it takes time for them to grow that bond but to have that thing it's his responsibility it's his focus that's I think that's gonna make his life a lot easier we're in the early stages but I I, I see it happening already ready set go go, go. <laughs> Goodbye.